Today on Toy Shiz, we're headed back to Neo Gotham. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new standard edition classic cartoon slash now comic book Batman Beyond by McFarlane Toys. My order from Walmart came in. This is great. Standard DC Multiverse, of course. Now, again, this is the one with the facial features, the one everyone wants. I do have a video up with the Target exclusive version. That one comes with the collect to build figure and you make the Joker bot and there's three more figures coming all throughout 2021. And yeah, this is basically what you're gonna be building, a future's end Joker Batman thing. But yeah, Batman Beyond right there on the side of the box, really nice. Batman Beyond soaring over Neo Gotham right there. Ooh, look at that, some action. Cross sells, all the characters, they're out right now. Here is the barcode. Again, this came from Walmart, shipped it in less than a day, and thanks again to my friend Brock for letting me know about this. This came out great, and I do have links and everything else if you wanna grab yourself one as well. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot shui cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Standard Edition Batman Beyond. And if you haven't already, I do ask that you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now let's talk about this brand new Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond figure. And here he is, old Terry, out of the packaging. And while this is based off the comic books, the new looks and likenesses and everything else. My knowledge of Batman Beyond really lies in the cartoon. And to be quite honest with you, this is the closest thing that I think we're gonna get in quite some time. But you got everything you need for a good Batman Beyond figure, right? You get this nice flight stand, kinda sorta. Recently I've noticed my older flight stands, they're starting to become extremely loose, so that's kind of troublesome. McFarlane Toys, eh, maybe work on the flight stands a little bit because yeah, there's really no way to tighten them up. You do get the classic boot thrusters. Now this is integral for Batman Beyond and what the other Target exclusive release was lacking. It's almost like they want us to buy both, huh? You get extra hands, of course, same hands as you got. You got weapon holding hands, battering holding hands, and then you get, I'm pretty sure it's a rebirth battering, or they're just kind of going with the flow. But yeah, from this rebirth cover, that looks like it. So not a bad battering, but the other target version comes with the batterings you want. But in looking at this Terry McGinnis Batman, yeah, this is the one with the facial features. You can see everything. Now he does have more accentuated lines, more techno organic looking lines on the face. But he's, I mean, he's pretty cool. I mean, it's Batman Beyond. So as long as you give me that, I'm actually really happy. Same exact body, it's just the head that's different, but the same wing structure, wings are removable, as I did in my last video. A lot of people said they weren't, they are. And in this video, I'll show you how you can remove them really easily. But to go over articulation, he does have these pegs on his arms. Not a huge fan of it, but you know, it, it's design-wise, they designed it, and I'm dealing with it. <laughs> And it just kind of slips into the notches on his wings. And he does have an interesting ab crunch to him. It actually works. It's, I find the articulation to be better than previous multiverse figures I've been kind of looking at. The head I just wish could go up a little bit more. But yeah, you can do a lot of really cool Batman Beyond poses. I do wish that this one in particular had thigh swivel. I think he could have definitely benefited. Not all characters have to have every single type of articulation point but some do, I think, and they just better suits the looks that you can achieve with them. And you just simply take the jet thrusters right there, see he's got the two holes. It's very cool. It, I mean, they knocked that out of the park right there. And getting everything situated, putting the thrusters on the boots, getting the wings in just the right position, putting him right into that flight stand, and you got yourself one cool Batman Beyond figure. This one is the one to get folks. Now I'm not saying you gotta get both, but if you wanna have a more complete Batman Beyond from this McFarlane DC Multiverse, I'm gonna leave that up to you. But the red wings are very cool, even though the top part is supposed to be black. It's red underneath, 
black on top. In the comics, they've kind of retconned that, so it really depends. But hey, cartoon people, you know what I'm talking about. Always black on the top, red on the underside. And while I don't really care for to see those black notches from his gloves in there, it's not the end of the world. And also the thrusters, I love the look of them. I love the plastic choice, the colors that they used. He looks like he's rocket boosting off. It looks like there's two right on the bottom of his feet. They are cool. They totally nailed the look of that. I am so happy. And again, getting him into the right Batman beyond pose, battering in hand, all the boot thrusters going off. Yeah, this brings back all the Saturday morning cartoons, Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, Superman the Animated Series. I could go on. Just League, Just League Unlimited. I love this. This is very cool. And just remember, always hashtag keep epilogue a secret, right? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, Watchtower Database. You want to see these two lined up with one another? It's all day, all day the Terry McGinnis one that we're looking at with the facial features. Batarangs, this is what I mean. The Target one comes with the classic Batarangs. So if you need to be complete, yeah. So again, let's talk about the wings, right? In my last video, I showed you that you can take the wings off and you can put the wings back on if you'd like. It does leave a hole in his back. For me, it doesn't bother me much at all. What you really are doing is heating up the plastic enough to slip that little piece out of the back part. What I kind of did was just flip the wings and that way you don't have to really put them back in. You just kind of have them hold onto his notches in his wings. Yeah, the thing will stick out of the back, but it doesn't bother me. So what you really do, let's, let's get some hot water going, right? Dunk your Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond figure in there and I'm gonna speed this up, but give it about 30 to 45 seconds, we'll say. Just some nice time, you know, test the water. Don't make sure it's not too hot for you by, by burning themselves. But uh, yeah, give it some time. You simply just take your figure out, just kind of knock some water off. You don't get water all over your review station. Simply just pull right there at the base, go slow, you don't want to do anything, and it just pops right out. It's easy peasy. And when you want to put them back in, you have to heat the wings back up. Again, 30, 45 seconds, pop them back in, and it'll go right back into his back. So really easy peasy. The wings are removable. You're gonna love it. And he does look good without the wings, right? Batman Beyond doesn't walk around with the wings always behind him. Uh, interesting design choice from McFarlane Toys on that. But hey, it's something you can achieve and something that's easy to do. Now with this Mattel. Now this Mattel figure that they released towards the end of their line is more the classic cartoon looking Batman Beyond, while also retaining realistic look, we'll just say. But the belt and everything, the red on his chest, very much so. You can use these rocket thrusters on this Mattel figure if you want. You can have some fun with it. It's cool to have both, to be quite honest with you. This is a great Batman Beyond figure. If you passed on the target one, good choice. Again, I'll leave it to you if you gotta get both to get the full complete Terry McGinnis, the Batarangs, for me, are essential, so I had to get both. However, you don't have to do this. All you gotta do is get this one. Pop the wings off, don't pop them off. Put them back, it doesn't matter. Put him in all the Batman Beyond poses you could possibly hope for, and he looks fantastic. So I highly, highly recommend him. This is one of the coolest Batman Beyond figures that I own now in my collection but I am curious to know what you guys think about it. Is this for you? So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember we got Shriek Blight coming. Now we need what? Spellbinder, Ink, Ian Peak. <laughs> the list goes on and on. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.